Hello and welcome to Mr. Minute Maths. I um, just got my last uh, video to record about uh, the time I had in, in Prague. I um, didn't manage to record when I was there, but um, took a photo of this chocolate recipe at the Choco Story. Um, gave a little bit of history um, to what the, the Spanish and how they brought back uh, uh, chocolate uh, to, to Spain. And they had this recipe here. Uh, 700 grams of cocoa, 56 cinnamon, cloves, white sugar, pepper, and so on. As soon as I saw the recipe, I thought, very common GCC question, especially in foundation, is looking at uh, the amounts given, and you've got to maybe multiply that up or for a different amount. Now, one thing I couldn't find, or maybe I didn't write down, is how much this is for. So let's say uh, that this recipe is just for a batch of uh, let's just say it's for four drinks or four batches. Um, common question would then say, what do you do for eight? Well, luckily we can see that that's just doubling. So we would double that, double that amount, double that amount, and and so on. And that would give us all the things we'd need to, to make this uh, chocolate recipe uh, for eight batches. They might make that a bit more challenging by giving you a number that's not a straightforward multiple, but we know it's two and a half times. So we could, uh, if we needed to use a calculator, we could just do 700 times 2.5, and that's 1750, 75 times 2.5, 1875, numbers sounding like the, the dates when they were traveling, or maybe before that, um, 14 times 2.5, uh, 35, that will be 35, uh, 3 times 2.5, which will be, uh, should know that without needing a calculator, but just to be sure, 7.5, and that will be uh, 2.5 there. So that's another way of uh, making it a bit more challenging. They then might ask you, uh, they might give you an amount, um, so if you think of a third type of question, they might say that they've got 3,000 grams of cocoa and 16,000 grams of sugar, and maybe uh, 200 grams of cloves, um, and any all the others they've got enough, and they'll say, what can you make in total? So you'd have to see, well, 3,000 divided by 700, uh, you've got over four lots here, so you get 4.3, um, but 16,000 divided by 750 is only 2.1, and 200 divided by 56 is 3.5. So in fact, that one becomes the constraint. So you can only make uh, as much as the least amount in the case. Um, now, assuming that they uh, can have these decimal amounts, but if, if it was stricter and you could only have whole batches or whole numbers, then we'd have to say there was only two lots that we could use there. Um, another way of making it more challenging, they might say uh, maybe they've only got 2,100 um, grams of cocoa, then how much sugar would you need? So you do 2,100 divided by 700, um, and it's three times as bigger as big, so we'd need three lots of sugar for that. So you do three times 750, which would be 2,250. So similar, trying to work out a constraint. Um, they can make it more challenging. So a fifth way, we'll be introducing cost and then putting costs on that, and maybe the, the chef or the restaurant owner would have to, or the host would have to work those all out. And the final way uh, to use recipes would be in simplifying ratios. And now, luckily, a lot of these numbers are multiples of seven. Um, so if I look at um, the one ingredient I didn't copy over was cinnamon. So cinnamon is 56. So let's say the recipe of cinnamon to cloves is 56 to 14 and let's simplify that well I can divide that by 7 and get 8 and divide that by 7 and get 2 which I can simplify 4 to 1 so there we go a uh, quick look at a recipe from the Chocolate Story in Prague um, multiplying up to amounts uh, working out with constraints I didn't look at it but mentioned cost and then finally ratio so uh, why don't you go and film some maths about uh, something you're seeing in your day? Or even better, why don't you make this recipe and tell me how it tastes?
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.